Hey everyone, it's Leon Up. Welcome back to DIY Beauty on Purpose. Today I bring you three nautical DIYs using Dollar Tree items. All right, so for my first DIY, I am using Dollar Tree building blocks, or not building blocks, tumbling blocks. And I'm gonna use actually all of the blocks. And what I'm going to do is for the sailboat that you saw in the beginning, I am building the boat part of it. And so I am going to take three blocks per little section. So I'm going to make bundles of three. And then I'm going to take four bundles for the very, the largest part of the boat. And so what you see me doing here, just kind of eyeing out where I'm going to place them. And what I ended up doing is having then four bundles of three on the bottom then three bundles of three and then another three bundles of three and then two bundles of three does that make sense <laughs> so that's kind of what i did and i'm going to put everything together using hot glue at first i wanted to use maybe some wood glue but the hot glue actually did its job very well it's very these little blocks are very lightweight and they held on really well so i'm going to start by Hot gluing together the three bundles. And one thing I'm trying to do very, very well is making sure that they are nice when I'm um, gluing them, that they're very, um, oh my gosh, even, you know, kind of flush, as flush as possible on the sides. And then of course I did that with all of them. And then I took the three little bundles or the four bundles of three and put those together. So what I did was I then put, I alternated where they were facing. So some horizontal, some vertical, that way it added a little bit more security or um, structure to it, I guess. I don't know. All right, so here we are. Um, I have everything put together. Now I'm going to glue all the sections together again using hot glue but before i glue them i want to drill a hole right in the middle of the larger one because that's where i'm going to put a skewer stick um, from the dollar tree and so i want to have that pre-drilled before i glue and before i paint but i realized that the first drill bit that i used was not wide enough so i switched it to a thicker one and that one was perfect And if you do not have a drill, you can always take a nail and just kind of poke it um, and, and, and make a little hole. So that little part there fell. So what I did to avoid that from happening again is I added hot glue on the joints underneath the the structure and then put in the skewer stick inside the little hole using hot glue of course and then I'm going to give everything two coats of rust-oleum chalk paint and the linen white and I am using a chippy brush nothing too expensive just need it to paint that's it and chalk paint does not take long to dry so I actually was able to give it its second coat quite quickly just about 20 minutes after and I do have a fan going in my studio so um, it dries really quickly and I did paint the stick as well the skewer stick because yeah I just wanted everything to kind of be cohesive and match so I am taking a canvas or the fabric part of a canvas from the Dollar Tree. This is one of their 8x10 canvases. And I had used a frame for, my, for another project. So here I am using the fabric portion of it. And this is what I'm going to use to make the sails. So I am going to cut an angled triangle. And one, uh, I'm going to cut two sails. One's going to be larger than the other one. But they're both going to have the same shape, just facing in, in opposite ways. And I'm not measuring or anything, guys. I like to do just things as I see, you know, just eyeing it out. But you can certainly measure 
Um, I did at the end have to trim the larger one a little bit because it just stuck out way too much for the boat portion of it. But um, it was no big deal. I just trimmed a little bit of it. So I am giving the uh, fabric or the canvas uh, one coat. That's all it took. Just one coat of the Rust-Oleum chalk paint in the linen white as well. And then I, now I am just marking every inch because I want to make stripes on the larger sail. And so I thought that I would make inch wide stripes. And I did mess up. <laughs> when I started painting the stripes, I painted the first one. And, um, and yeah, I then started painting the second one instead of leaving it white <laughs> but you know it is what it is that is what you get when you're DIYing we're not perfect and so I just made it work you know I just uh, went with the flow and I could have painted over it but hey it is what it is so I just marked it and just kept going <laughs> um, so yeah I just made these stripes and I decided to do it just on the larger one I just thought it would look too overwhelming if I did both of them and I just thought just doing it on the larger one and then leaving the small one white will look um, just nice and, 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 and even I guess not too much and once again the stripes dried very quickly and um, I just thought they looked super cute. I did end up cutting a smaller little piece. It's just a little triangle of the canvas to paint it red. This is the Farmhouse Red by Rust-Oleum Chalk Paint. And this is going to be the little red flag on top of the sailboat. So on the white sail, I thought about I would write a little something. So I wrote the year and then Lake Erie because we live near Lake Erie. And I just thought it would be very appropriate. And so I am going to now attach the little flag using hot glue. And I contemplated using hot glue to attach the sails, the larger one and the small one. And then I thought, you know what? I think I'm going to attach them using jute twine. So I grabbed my um, hole puncher. And I do have this hole puncher. Um, it's called Croc A Dial. And it's awesome, guys. And I have it on my Amazon store uh, which is linked down below if you're interested in taking a look. But I'm just going to hole punch a few holes there on the larger one as well as the smaller one. And that's where I'm going to thread the jute twine. The jute twine is from the Dollar Tree and you get like three rolls of this jute twine. It's not the thickest, but it is really, you know, it's good. It does its job. So I cut several pieces. They're about two inches long, give or take, maybe three. And I threaded them before I started to to tie because that way I think it would be harder to thread while I was tying but anyways um so yeah just made knots and tied it and I just think that would just look super cute wait what I wish I would have done differently I wish I would have somehow um measured the holes for the smaller one to match the larger sail but that way I can use the same jute twine because it ended up being a little crowded with jute twine, I think, in my opinion. And then I did way too many holes on the smaller ones. So if you're going to recreate this, you do not need that many holes. I think three would have been more than sufficient. Uh, but nonetheless, I think it still looked cute and um, it worked out well. So you see the larger sail, how it sticks out on the upper left hand corner, how it just sticks out a little bit too much. So that's where I took off a little bit. I took off maybe about an inch and I just kept the same shape, but I just kind of cut it upwards. And then I decided to add a Dollar Tree popsicle sticks, one of those larger ones, hot glue it to the back so these sails stay nice and straight. Look out, here she comes. And there you have it. Look how cute. Too bad you'll never know Yeah, I can't tell her how I feel Because she has someone who makes her happy I'm a ghost in these walls Or at least I try to be Cause I hope that I'm not showing How I feel for her 
Guys, before we move on to our second DIY, I want to tell you about my friend Bianca Ann D. Um, she is from Bianca D. Bianca Ann D. DIYs and home decor. She is phenomenal. She's so talented, and we're collaborating on this Dollar Tree nautical DIYs video. Check her out. I'll have her video or her channel linked down below. You're not going to be disappointed. She does so many Dollar Tree DIYs, and she's so talented. Her style is impeccable. So show her some love. Visit her channel, and if you haven't subscribed, subscribe and tell her you came from my channel. All right, guys, so on to DIY number two. I am going to make a ship wheel or an ankle wheel. Um, and I'm going to use this floral wreath, foam wreath thing from the Dollar Tree. I've always seen them and I'm like, oh, I don't really like them for wreaths. And then when I thought about doing this, I was like, that would be perfect. So I marked where I wanted to start drilling some holes so that I can. Uh, prepare it to um, have some dowels put in because of course we want to create a sheep wheel so what I'm doing is I am using a spade bit and I'm just trying to figure this out I don't want my foam wreath to break I want, I'm trying to treat it very gently of course I don't want it to crack so um, I'm doing my best but it actually held very well um, I was not, um, I was surprised. I was very happy with it. So what I'm doing there in between each hole is I am just making sure that each hole that I drill matches to where I am going to drill on the other side because I want it to match. I want all the, I don't know what you call them, but you know, those little things that stick out of the, the ship wheel. Um, I want them all to be nice and as even as possible. So that's kind of why I'm doing what I'm doing and I'm measuring and you know putting in the dowel and taking it back out so now I'm going to take a pool noodle from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to cut about two inches from one of the ends and that's going to be what I use for the center of the wheel. I need something for the dowels to connect to in the middle. So I thought that would be perfect for it. And so now I'm going to take the dowel. Now the dowel is not from the Dollar Tree. They don't have these, but you can certainly use something like, you know, the toilet plungers, how they have the wood portion. You can always use several of those and cut them to fit. And I think those will work really well. But I had this on hand and I thought it would be perfect. I measured how long I wanted the, or one of the sticks, I guess, to how long I wanted it. And so then I'm going to use that measurements and cut them now you can use a miter saw but in this case i wanted to show you that you can certainly use a miter box if you do not have a miter saw in your home and it just takes a little longer but it's very very doable and for a dowel this size is perfect so be very careful when you use this miter box because it don't it doesn't have little grippies on the bottom and it does slide just a bit but if you take your time and you're careful you'll be just fine so then I used that first one and I just marked and I cut the rest. I needed six of them. I'm just gonna sand down the edges because they get a little splintery. And once I did that, now I'm getting ready to put everything together. And I'm so excited and kind of nervous all at the same time because I want this to work. So I decided to insert all the dowels first and then glue. The reason why I did this, I wanted to make sure that that center, center piece kept in the center as much as possible. I wanted to avoid it from sliding and moving and then end up not being centered. So that's why I placed them all in there. And then once I had it somewhat where I wanted it, then I started gluing very carefully. When you put hot glue on any foam, it's going to kind of uh, melt a little bit. But in this case, it actually worked because it may, it gave it a more uh, firm, um, uh, adhesive I guess I would say I mean the foam and the pool noodle was actually kind of bubbling it was so bizarre but it worked out perfect so I repeated the process with all the dowels and you can start seeing the shape of the ship wheel and I was so excited guys all right so then I wanted this to be very very secure so I started placing hot glue 
on all the seams everywhere where the dial and any foam met i added hot glue i just wanted this to be nice and secure because i'm going to keep this and i'm hoping to use it in next year's summer decor as well because i just love the way they turned out and i did that on all the sides front and back And then I took it outside and started spray painting. This is Rust-Oleum Flat White spray paint. And um, I was a little, a little disappointed because the foam actually absorbed, especially with the blue noodle piece. Uh, yeah, it absorbed a lot of the paint, so it didn't work out. But it did give it a good prime. Um, you can see there how it kind of, you can still see through. And that was fine. I only gave it one coat. However... I did end up retouching it with the actual paint uh, and gave it one coat of the Rust-Oleum chalk paint and it worked out fine. So now I'm using the pool noodle once again as a um, just measurement, I guess, just to kind of draw out a circle and a piece of canvas that I had left over because I want to cover that blue pool noodle. So I'm gonna glue it right on top and it worked perfectly. So now I'm going to take a permanent marker. This is a larger one, and I'm just going to distress the wheel. I want to add some dimension, some character. It just looked a little blah. Um, so you know I love some distressed uh, decor, and I think this part made the wheel. I don't know about you, but these little distress marks actually made the whole wheel come together and pop. I think it just, it just looked beautiful. And you can't go wrong with the stressing. I mean, seriously, you just mark. The way I do it is I don't go overboard. I just do just enough. So then I'm going to take jute twine from the Dollar Tree once again. And I'm just going to add some um, a rolled, oh my gosh, roll some jute twine. There you go. On just three parts of it. So I've, out of the six parts, I'm going to do three. So I'm going to skip every, every one. So... Um, I'm going to just roll about two inches wide of jute twine. And it is a thin jute twine. Um, so it took me a little bit to roll it, but I made it through and I did that on all three. And of course, securing it with hot glue. And after that, we were done, guys. Look how cute. This wheel is my favorite. It just looks so cute and I can't wait to keep using it all uh, summer season. Guys, this is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If uh, you are new to my channel, welcome. I hope you consider subscribing. And if you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. And guys, I hope you have a blessed day. Yeah, I can't tell her how I feel Because she has someone who makes her happy I'm a ghost in these walls Or at least I try to be Cause I hope that I'm not showing sure